Hey there, welcome back. In today's video, you are going to learn step by step how to create a captivating progress bar animation using CapCut for PC. So, let's get started. First, import the footage to which you want to apply the progress bar animation. I have a nice clip of a dancing robot. Next, import an image that you want to use for the progress bar. For this tutorial, I will use the white background that comes with CapCut. Drag it down and out of the screen. Now move the playhead to the beginning. When the playhead is at the beginning of the clip, press the diamond icon to add a keyframe. Now bring it to the end of the other clip. Press the cursor left key to move the playhead one frame to the left. Now change the X position by using the arrows or entering zero directly. Press enter. Another keyframe has been added. If you move the playhead to the beginning, you will notice that the progress bar gets smaller. Press the spacebar button to play the animation to see what we got so far. To expand the progress bar to the entire clip, simply hold down the left mouse button and drag the end. As of CapCut version 2, keyframes finally support drag and drop. Well done ByteDance. It was about time. Let's check what we got so far. Looks good to me. To make it even more interesting at some effects. Scroll down. Scroll down to the bottom. Select the colorful effect and drag it to the progress bar clip. Add as many effects as you like. Watch in full screen mode to get a better overview. There you have it. Our progress bar animation is complete and it's looking fantastic. Remember, you can always experiment with different effects, transitions, and audio to further enhance your video and make it uniquely yours. And that's a wrap, folks. I hope you found this tutorial helpful in creating a captivating progress bar animation using CapCut for PC. Now it's your turn to unleash your creativity and bring your videos to the next level. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more exciting tutorials like this. Until next time, happy editing!